All right, we're recording. Oh, just as an aside, I did level up Zuldurai to level 10, but it was immensely painful. I'm in the Unseen as Zuldurai because I know for a fact Itar Pylon won't be able to go to Booty Bay. If I do the reputation pipelines for Gelkis and Bloodsail Buccaneers correctly. Yeah, I got on my Horde tune because I knew, knew for a fact I needed a chill stream today. I cannot be arsed with Alliance at the moment. I thought Teldrassil was good questing. I have been proven wrong in the worst way possible. Oh, Scorpashi Snappers. Okay, that may not be... Yeah, that may force me up north. Yeah, the oddity about Maradon is we don't face an air elemental boss, even though Mashanche has air elementals as its primary source of things we're dealing with. But we fight an earth elemental as our final boss fight, and Princess Theradros is one of the most prominent earth elemental people. I don't know if that's on purpose. Or if Maradon, it, it just has a lot of jank associated with it. Because it and Dire Maul were not natural to vanilla. They were dungeons added after, af, long after the initial patches. I'm pretty sure. But given the phenomenons in Desolus, and the fact Princess Theradros is directly responsible for the existence of all centaur in the area, she and her centaur boyfriend... Or, uh, Keeper of the Grove boyfriend. They made it and created centaurs. That's basically the gimmick. I think they just went with the centaur gimmick for Maradin, or Maradon. And then the Maradin clan of centaur is just the first obstacle we get past in order to get things going. Alright, we're just here to steal some meat. I mean, I'm here for the Gelkis rep anyway, but getting meat over here is fine. I turned off music because Stormwind's music was driving me up the wall. And I tried to get Everlook Broadcasting Radio, but hang on. Okay, there we go. and the must-have marvels of our world. Get ready for a whirlwind tour to the world of Atlantis. Yeah, unfortunately Stormwind's so horrible at town, so bloated, so repulsive in every way that I have to play Mori Calliope music to fix my brainwave so I can actually think. Because I'm just so blinded by rage every time I do anything in Stormwind. This Everlook broadcasting thing or Mori Calliope music. I do prefer the Mori Calliope music most of the time, though. Looks like we got the good RNG with Everlook broadcasting, though. No false copyright strikes anytime soon. That's what I'm worried about with those. Bit of a tough luck Chuck moment. That's stealing supplies done. Now I just need to murder hobo some more guys. Are okay, game. Are you are you kidding me? Why why did you do that, game? What made you think that was acceptable, game? I I do not comprehend. What the hell is with this jank? How are you not taking any damage? God, I hate this so much. No, stop being bugged. Okay. I'll get this other one. I'm extremely frustrated. How do you fuck up aggro on a elemental that badly? I mean, I'm sure that was normal in vanilla. Really, Desolus should have glitch elementals as an actual thing. That are a byproduct of just jank from the infinite dragon flight. That would actually be a good way to solidify the existence of all the jank that I have to deal with. 
if I had to add anything as a narrative person to Desolus, I would make a... I would make glitch elementals. Oh, also the glitch elementals should give Hydraxian Waterlord rep because they're an elemental type that they'd love to discover as an enemy. These whirlwinds are an anomaly in universe, so it's not like I'm terribly surprised that they are janky. There we go. Found another glitch elemental. There we go. And I can turn in 12 uh, elemental airs while I'm at it. I would probably prefer to auction house these, but in the meantime, I will take what I can get. All right, here we go. We've got four quests complete. Yeah, let's take the throne weapons. Oh yeah, this is the quest I need to go to Stoneheart for. I otherwise lack a reason to go to Swamp of Sorrows, so I'm going to have to head out. But this is what I was counting on in the first place. Oh, but it didn't give me any XP. I wonder if they changed it. Okay, that's 500. Protecting the weak. Ah. Ah. Ah, here we are. That's three. Commune with the wind. 200 rep. Oh! Okay, so this is a repeatable quest. I get it. I get it. I... I'm gonna go ahead and do the on Geku thing, though. In my RP, I have it that Bwonsamdi and his spirits are weakest in Stormwind because of a jam. A jammer that their signal gets jammed by. So, Duskwood's going to be sussy. I did explore Duskwood during the White Stone. Well, not it fully, but I wanted to chase the people chasing Malveron all the way through the Eastern Kingdoms. Because then I could have had a flight path to Stone Art along the way. Unfortunately, I also probably would have been caught by a bunch of Alliance Guilds. Some of whom were metagaming against my friends in the Unseen. To a degree that bordered on God Mod. I actually made my alliance alt out of sympathy for the Unseen because they've been God Modded and metagamed over some silly shit. And I just, I can't sit idly by. I mean, it's Alliance, it's trash, but I have a Paladin. I've been Alliance Trash before. I don't play Alliance anymore, typically because I'm genuinely mortified every time I get the I would really prefer if you be quiet treatment from not just my family members, but other Alliance players who happen to be their friends. So I have a lot of deep-seated antipathy towards the Alliance that has not been reconciled. I don't think it can be reconciled. Ever. Not that I'm afraid of trying. I just know for a fact that it's going to be an uphill battle to play anything Alliance. There was one time where I got the but you are correct shoe to drop. Once. But that's it. Why bathe in mundane water when you can elevate your experience with our arcane bubble bath?
sourced from the magical springs of the Eversong woods, and infused with the finest mana crystals, he'll emerge not We can't access the Eversong woods! Why are you advertising for stuff in the Eversong woods? Brave souls returning from the harsh battlegrounds of Hillsbrad. Make it make sense, advertisement! If I go full blood sale as a tar pylon will there be a method to interact with the un or the white stones as him or would i be hosed nah i just have to i have to future proof some of my current plans it's it's tempting Really, to explore all of Duskwood, but I do not have the time or brain power for it. Beggar's Haunt. There's a quest. I know what it is, but. Let's develop this truth serum. For the horde. Did I get that right? Yes. Yes, you did. Shadow Panther Heart. Oh, yeah, this is. Oh, the giants. I can adapt. I have to pick up the quest. So deep strider, the deep strider giants are useful to us after all. Let me go ahead and just make this quest. Shadow Panther Hearts in the swamp is good. Of a mire lord. Yeah. Let me just cross compare here. Cragwood Mall versus 70 to 1. Yeah, no. The Scarlet Pillar wins out. Alright, but at least this Truth Serum quest will be interesting. There's a Mire Lord whose fungus we need, and then I need help. This is a quest I'm going to need help from Drust with, almost assuredly. But in the meantime... Just avoid these sky shadows. There's the Sleeping Gorge, and I'm not doing anything down there, because the Sky Shadows will aggro and kill me in one hit. <sighs> oh well, here we are. Shadow Panthers. I really just should get to their Sorrow Guard Keep. What the devil? Uh oh. Is this gonna bite me in the ass? Alright, we'll see. Well, it was already labeled on the Fallow Sanctuary is under attack. Of course it is.
Oh, that, yep. Those are, that's an alliance outpost. Uh, fucking course it is. All right, well, we're heading back down. If there was a way to get through here from, from Badlands or Red Ridge, then this would make sense as a location for my low 30s to mid 40s. But it just doesn't make sense. And I know there's jank involved. <sighs> All right, is this an elite quest? Um yeah, it's an elite quest. Where can I fly? Oh yeah, I can fly straight to Kargath. I do like that there's a few... There's a few things here that make this place worthwhile. Alright, there's some fungus here that can help me level up. Collecting mushrooms should be an easy quest. I don't remember this in Ascension. At all. Whenever I see Athena or someone else play retail, I sort of feel bad for them. Because they get screwed over pretty harshly by other people. I'm trying very hard not to call people retail Andes. Because the whole Andy thing is kind of sad in in ways that are more oh some comedian was fr somehow made the mistake of being friends with ice poseidon and then got turned into a joke that's basically what happened now one of my friends from ascension was explaining that the whole anti terminology has is, is is extremely fucked in terms of etymology so I was recommended against continuous use of the term Andy to describe people. So, I mean, I still call myself a Thunder... F or I still call my Paladin Tune a Thunder Fury Andy. Because it's at least directed towards myself. It's at my own expense, basically. But I don't describe anybody else as an Andy, if it can be helped. All right, I get a chest. Call a dibs on it right about now. Can this chest not be jank, please? Can the game actually cooperate with me? All right, we're taking this quest. All right, come on, out of here. Yep, yeah, no, he got he got the chest. Or maybe he's having the same issue. Now that's one bugged chest. Let's create these bandages while I'm just waiting. Yep. Camp north of Stonard. Why is there a Blacktooth Grin Clan flag in the middle of an area that isn't owned by the Blacktooth Grin Clan? Maybe I'm misinterpreting something heavily. Oh, this must be the... This must have been their old guild house once upon a time. Oh. Didn't they move over to Telebeam anyway? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Everything looks abandoned. Oh, well, that was a neat thing for a little bit. There's a couple Dry Nye Exiles. They exist. At least they're not hostile to us. They seem like custom quests. Okay, and since there's no Dry Nye Anchorites, because of reasons, 
they have to make these guys normal or NPCs to be or friendly NPCs to be interacted with by everyone. No, I dig it. That's under 25 rep for Orgrimmar. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull off on this quest. I get the guy's motive and everything, but I have places to be. There you go, found it. Just took me forever because everything blends in. Oh, there we go. That helped. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. The sound of charm. Valley. I swear. Fatty Raws. Well, this is probably a. Okay, found on Gaku. Took me forever. But we found him. I'm happy for that. Holy smokes. Now I just need for him to not be mob tagged and we're good. Because, yeah, any of the Alliance here, and there's been mostly Alliance for the most part. We'll tag him and render this quest impossible for me to do for a while. Because respawn rates are still slow for most people. And he got tagged. Of course he did. It's an alliance who tagged. Yep. And a cook was killed. Lovely. Alright. I'll turn in these crystals and come back. And hopefully on Geku we'll have respawned by then. I can't promise anything. But I've done way more of stone art than I was supposed to. Yep. Large knapsack. Oh, good. I can actually replace the green sack in a bit. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. One of these guys has to be on Geku. On Geku! Finally! And there's nobody to tag the mob. Good. I could just kite him over here. And then, ooh, he hits like a truck. That's fine. This is actually fine. And then I can do the rest of these quests off stream. Well, not off stream, but off screen. Because they're, there we go. Yes. Finally. This quest is done. Now I need to find the Misty Valley and find the Sand of a Charm, and we can get out of here. That's one Shadow Panther heart. Yeah, there's these green dragons, but this instance dungeon I can't even get into. Not for a hot minute, at least. Pool of Tears. Temple of Atalhakar. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, I did not mean to interact with that. There's a Dire Mist Onlooker, Zok Flame Fist, Those are cultists in the area. 
the fuck are they doing? There we go. Misty Reed Strand. That's not Misty Valley. Uh, but it's a little closer. I think I may accidentally get all of Stoneheart explored. I don't want to get too close to Somnus or he's going to try to clobber me and he could one-shot me. And I spoke too soon. Run like the wind! No! I am not letting this happen. There's Misty Reed Post. I would really prefer if this thing would stop chasing me. Oh, good. Good God. Alright, so maybe if I go down these two undiscovered sections, I can find the Misty Valley. There we go. Found Misty Valley. Now we just need to look for a chest, and then we can sort of skedaddle on out of here. Yeah, I'll come back for Green Hills of Stranglethorn. I want to get this guy his thing. <coughs> Let me just see something here. Draining Hunter Ring with a Jill. Uh, this is a bad ring for. It's good for rogues and for hunters. Wait, no, the spirit's useless. It's good for it. Yeah, it's hunter. It's a hunter ring. There we go. Found his crate. It was right here the whole time. Oh yeah, I must have killed the hunter by mistake. There we go. Got the... Can this guy get off of me, please? I just want to turn in the... Qu oh, there we go. He's off. Good. Yep. Drain a, drain a hunter ring, which I'm disenchanting. Pronto. Tour. Let's see what you got. No, Boru the Cudgel. Oh, yeah. This is not a TBC quest. Or, yeah, no, this is a quest that existed in Vanilla and Knuckles. Scepter of Akasha. Talisman of Karnum. It's a stamina necklace. Something. I'll come back for him, because I need to do the truth serum stuff anyway. And then yeah, this leather quest I can I can finally pick it up. This quest. Masat Tonder. Yep, alrighty. There we go. Sunken chest. That's what I needed. I didn't see it before. Probably because I needed to go more in-depth than usual for it. Okay. Now we can just go. Oxador. I'll be coming back for this quest, but I really need to go. Because I'm tired. Alright. Training. Get this. Get this. Get this. Get this. Get this. Get 
That's practically all my gold. I don't think there's a, there's maybe a couple specs and classes that prefer the Magrum items, but not many. And the Gelkis have equivalents for most. Ah, uh, okay. Something's off, but I'll worry about it later.